Long summer evenings and weekends are made for entertaining. This week features a holiday menu inspired by the good times of the festive season. The holidays are a busy time, but I'm always trying to fit some cooking and feasting in with my kids and I prepare their favorite dishes. So today on the menu, we've got spicy chicken wings. It's my son's favorite. They're quite crispy and delicious. For the main course, lamb koftas, and I'm serving that with spaghetti. It's a family favorite and my very own take on spaghetti and meatballs. And for dessert, a peanut butter cake. And if you love peanut butter sandwiches, you're going to love this cake. For that, three eggs going into a mixing bowl. And you could use a hand towel beater for this. And let's get this going. A blast of speed. And gradually add some brown sugar. The eggs are light and fluffy. The brown sugar dissolves slightly and you can see it forms a thick mixture that looks amazing. On to the next step, peanut butter into the egg mix. Good dollop, about six tablespoons to the sunflower oil. And use the spatula just to work that peanut butter into the egg. For the dry ingredients, add half the flour, salt, bicarb, and baking powder. Work quite lightly. Remember, the more you work the batter, the denser the texture of the cake. That looks good. Buttermilk goes in, and buttermilk adds flavor, but it also gives us a really moist cake. Remaining flour going in. One last ingredient going in now, some vanilla. And I'm using vanilla powder. You can use vanilla essence or extract. I just love the little black flecks in the batter. That's ready. I've got two grease and lime tins here, 20 centimeters. And now just divide the batter between the tins. Although I'm tempted to save some raw batter for myself, I'm gonna scrape every little bit into the prepared tin. Pop these into a preheated oven, 170 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Starting out with the koftas, and for that, fry off the onion and some sunflower oil, and then some whole spices, just to flavor that oil. I've got the cinnamon stick, and a bay leaf, just a little one. A tiny pinch of cumin seeds. The spices start to sizzle. Give them a stir, and then fry off the onion. Add some salt to the onions teaspoon and a bit. Stir that around. This is a really important step when you're making a curry. Fry these onions until golden brown. Add the ginger and garlic paste. Next, two green chilies and some curry leaves. Fry that until the moisture evaporates. Red chili powder going in. You can make this mild, medium or hot. You quite enjoy spicy foods. Mix that in. Next, tomatoes. Spice it up. We've got some ground cumin, and this is roasted spice, ground coriander, garam masala, and a pinch of turmeric. Mix that through. The aim here is to cook this down until the moisture evaporates and the tomatoes roast in the pan. While the sauce is simmering, let's start with the lamb mince. For that, I've got some ginger, green chili, garlic, some egg, and this is to bind the mince spring onion, and some crispy fried brown onion. Just break that in. Some fresh coriander. Season this with some salt. To this, a touch of red chili powder. Use a wooden spoon and work those ingredients together. Color's changed, which means the red chili powder is nicely incorporated. That's ready. Let's have a look at our sauce. The oil separates, it's quite thick. The tomatoes are bright red in color. Time to add some water. Got some boiled water here. Pour that into the pan. That should do. We need to reduce the heat here. And let's mold these into balls. It should be about the size of a golf ball. To bind this, you could also add some grated potato. Remember to always have this on a low heat. If you have a high heat, 
These kaftas are going to go into the sauce and break up almost immediately. Place the kaftas into the sauce. Then just shake the pan to coat evenly, just ensuring you don't break them up. That's the kaftas done. All we need to do now is to leave these to cook for about 15 minutes. For the chicken wings, start by preheating some sunflower oil in a pan. That should do nicely. First ingredient going into the wings, and I've got about 600 grams of wings here. Some ginger and garlic paste. Season this with salt. Black pepper as well. I love freshly ground black pepper. Red chilli powder. And turmeric. Use your tongs and just stir to coat. Start by frying the onion in hot oil until they turn golden. The last ingredient going in, some rice flour. Just sprinkle that over. And this is the secret ingredient to crispy wings. The preparation of these wings is quite important. So rinse them under cold running water and pat them dry. They must be properly dried before you start adding the spices. That's done. Let's have a look at our onion. Onions are golden brown. I've got a strainer here. It's over a bowl. Gently scoop them out. Shake that about. Scatter the onions over a serving plate. Into the hot oil, some curry leaves. They start to splatter. This flavors the oil and pop the wings in. This needs to cook on a high heat. We don't want the moisture to come out these wings causes them to stew. Turn them over once they're golden, and that's what we're looking for. That looks perfect. Using the same strainer, pop the wings in. Shake off the excess oil and place them onto the serving plate. Serve this with a squeeze of lime or lemon juice and some spicy green chutney made with mint and coriander. I think the koftas are now done as well. Time to frost the cake. The peanut butter cakes have cooled down and while that was cooling, I prepared some peanut butter frosting. For that, I've creamed some butter until light and fluffy, gradually added some icing sugar and a generous dose of peanut butter. And for the topping, we've got some melted chocolate and some brittle as well. I'm using a mixed nut brittle. I've popped that into a bag. Use a rolling pin. Just dash that about. You can see little bits of pistachio coming through here. Not too fine. Adds a lovely texture and crunch to this cake. Pour that into a little bowl. Pour the frosting. Use a spatula and scoop some frosting onto the cake. That looks about right. Next layer going on top. And as you can see, it's a really light cake. Very, very light and fluffy. You would think peanut butter would give you a heavy cake. This is very, very light. Pop that on top. Smooth that over for a decadent touch. Some dark chocolate. Drizzle that over and let it drip down the sides. That's more than enough chocolate going on top to neaten up the edges. Just going to pipe little blobs around the side finishes that matter the most. Work around and between the chocolate drips. And if you run out of peanut butter frosting, you could use buttercream or even chocolate frosting to do this. Okay, a few more going on the sides, just a few blobs just to decorate. That's the last one. The more frosting, the better. Let's get ready to serve. This cake is truly beautiful. With food like this, I really don't mind working overtime in the kitchen. The flavors and aromas are coming through, the kids are joyful, and it's time to celebrate. We've got crispy fried chicken wings for the main course, spicy koftas, I'm serving that with either spaghetti or linguine, and for dessert, what my kids call the peanut butter bomb. This will definitely take you back in time. The holidays are here, let's enjoy.